Apex Legends news stories from the Outland features these new characters. Hmm, where have I seen this before? I'm a hex girl, and I'm gonna put a spell on you. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and season 15 is right around the corner, and you know what that means. Today we are getting a stories from the Outland, and it's gonna revolve around Catalyst. We're gonna go over the length of it, what's in it, what to expect, and a bunch of other information along with some leaks that you are not aware of that is gonna be a major tie-in to the character. We're also gonna give out 45 bucks. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, Let's talk about Apex Legends. So we actually have a lot of lore to discuss in this video. In three hours from the launch of it, actually, we will be getting the new stories from the Outland, which features four unique characters on it, and it will be four minutes and 41 seconds. But what's very interesting about all these characters is they all have a moon-shaped symbol as a piece of jewelry they're wearing, and they're in different positions as well. Now, this moon is obviously something alluding to the new moon map we're going to. We've already gotten a lot of teasers, such as this one, We Can Save the Planet Together, along with the moon teaser for Seer, which actually has the moon is a giant iris being hit by the asteroid from his stories from the outland now we actually have seen an image of catalyst from her tarot cards as you can see here she has her crescent symbol shaped downwards and she also has kind of that emo haircut where it covers half of her face that leaves two possibilities these two legends right here in the picture now the one on the left does also have the downward moon shape but she has a completely different hairstyle making me think that it is going to be the character on the right who also has that same symbol we have also seen a charm data mined by someone who leaks that has the same exact symbol for catalyst there's also something very interesting that was found in another teaser for Catalyst and it's the very last message from the CRC and that's actually the Clio project which is the name of Boris's moon and the restoration project so the new legend actually ties very much into the new map and somewhat to Seer as well as we see his tarot card right there as well with the moon being destroyed. There is a very unique function to the new legend and I don't want to outright spoil it but if you recognize this flag at all you can expect some kind of backstory relating to this. We've seen a number of different legends with different backstories and origins and this legend is going to be no different. She's not simply going to be a Wraith clone. Along with that, because we are getting the stories from the outline today, that means we should be getting the launch trailer on October 20th on Thursday, the gameplay trailer on the 24th of October on Monday, the character trailer next Thursday on October 27th, and then the battle pass trailer one day before the launch of the new season, which is on November 1st. And don't forget, this week we will actually be able to go to the new moon map. If you've collected the golden ticket that's already in the replicators, all you have to do is get 125 crafting material, create it, and then you're able to travel there and you should basically be all set overall it's very interesting with this new legend i think she's going to be a ton of fun to play her abilities with the ferro fluid and a defensive style of skill set allowing her to block and reinforce doors along with building structures to climb up and a ferro fluid wall to instantly get high ground make her a very appealing pick for a brand new map let me know down below how do you feel about the new character catalyst are you excited for the stories from the outland trailer and do you think season 15 will be a huge hit and until next time legends keep slaying the outlands and i'll see you out there